recovery. You buzzing? The adrenaline, I know. And the pills. What pills? I took a couple of pills. But what's the delay? Come on, let's get on with it. Shh, I'm thinking. Thinking? It went brilliant. It's just like you said it with you're a genius. Yeah. And we are in the money. One problem. What? I, I don't want you to get upset when I say this, but... But what? It's not him. Alfred Chisholm, that's not him. We've snatched the wrong man. What, really? No. You're joking. It's a joke. You twat, you had me for a second. You wind-up merchant. Please. Please. Curious. Well, you better tell her that. Me? You're the boss. She's your girlfriend. Hey, you know her. How to communicate. You can handle her. Me? Right. You're right. It's probably better coming from her. What the hell's going on? Why are we filming the ransom video? Les has something to tell you. Uh, there's been a slight misidentification. A temporary hiccup. It's the wrong bloke. What? Wrong bloke? How in holy fuck did that happen? I'm not sure I like your time. Rach, calm down. I can calm down. We have temporarily, and I'll stress that word, temporarily kidnapped the wrong man. In my defense, they are very similar. Same size and height and weight as the target. Same color hair. Just, just not him. How the hell did this happen? The strange thing was, when Les pulled the gun, it's enough. the bloke started to laugh because it looked a bit... Cat it did not. But well, it did. So anyway, I ran over, put the bag on his head. Before I might add, I got a chance to look closely. And once the hood was on, I smacked him with the cosh and I drove here. I see. Look, I'm done. <coughs> just give me my money. I'm out of here. Can't do that. Not until we remedy the situation. How? Very simple. We go back and get the right man. Him we can deal with later. What, kidnap two people? You couldn't even get one. What happens if you fuck it up again? You're forgetting who's the boss here. <laughs> yeah, boss of who can be the biggest twat. You couldn't have done it without us. Yes. I am willing to admit that you played an active part in the final stages of the operation, but... You were never part of the original gang. Gang? There's two of you. Two isn't a gang. The Craigs were a gang and there was two of them. Twins. Yeah, well, there was more than two of them in the gang. Well, there couldn't have been. They were twins. Yeah, only two twins, but more in the gang. Well, you don't hear about the Craig triplets, do you? Ronnie, Reggie and... Ricardo. Oh, actually... There was a Charlie, but we're digressing wildly. Is he a twin as well? No, Tony, you can only have two twins. Please, just try and keep up. We've already established that. Now, what are we going to do? Stupidly, pointlessly, fruitlessly, we have assaulted and kidnapped an innocent member of the public. And before you go around planning to fuck up for the second time in one evening, hadn't you better work out how you're going to sort out fuck up number one? I say we dump him in the river. Suppose he can swim. Well, shoot him first, obviously. Then why the river? Why not just bury him? We're not killing anybody, remember? The gun was just to frighten her. Shit! Put the gun down. Oh, shoot. Please. One job you had, Tony. Tie him up. How could it be my job? I was operating the camera. 
To be fair, you did say you'd tie him up, Lance. No! No, 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 no! We've been through this! I have the gun, you have the placards, he does the camera! Bloody give up! Hear me out. I'm gonna make the wild assumption that I'm not the man you intended to kidnap. I'm also gonna make another assumption. I live in the same building as a man by the name of Alfred Chisholm. Uh, ring any bells? Now, unfortunately, given the circumstances, Alfie and I share a somewhat uncanny resemblance. There are, however, a few things that set us apart. One, he's a prick. Two, I'm better looking than he has. And C, three, he's a multi-millionaire and I'm fucking poor. Now, I realize that this may have come as a bit of a shock, but let me propose a solution. I'm an unemployed actor who's relying pretty heavily on a marginal amount of talent and a lot of this, yeah? Being attractive, not being taken seriously, that can be a curse. I know you know what I mean. I'm broke. The last job I did, I was cut out of the film. I wear my heart on my sleeve, so that was pretty tough to take. As far as I can see, keeping me here, it's gonna get you nowhere. I'm not going to tell anyone about this. If anything, this experience could turn me into a good actor. So why not just let me go? Hey? I can still shoot you. It may have escaped your notice, but I have a gun. I am still buzzing. <laughs> Look, 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 we, we, we've clearly got off on the wrong foot, right? You look like a lovely bunch, yeah, especially you. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm the boss here, not you. Got it? Got it. I thought we were partners. Oh, did you? You, my partner. You're a cretin. Who came up with the plan, eh, Tony? Well, you did. But I stole the car. Oi, idiots. Hello. You do realise you're confessing everything in front of a witness here. Oh, Don't mind me. Bollocks! That's not good. What are we going to do? I'm thinking. Who makes a change? Sorry? I'm just saying, you've kidnapped the wrong man, allowed him to escape, and now you're thinking. Technically, I haven't escaped yet, so... Well, you're not tied up. You're virtually free to go. He's got a gun on me. Yeah, he's not gonna shoot, don't worry. I bloody will. <laughs> don't worry, he won't. So, when you're acting right, do you find that, like, the character... Shut up! Do you never stop talking? You know why I screwed up? Because I couldn't concentrate all the way here for you talking about the traffic. Whoa, 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 man. She's not gonna like that. Fuck you! Fuck me! Fuck you! You know what? If I'm driving, I can talk about whatever the fuck I want! Yeah. But it's not just when you're driving, is it? It's all the time, non-stop. Don't know how you do it, Tony. Enough, Les. You're a saint, you are. If it was up to me, I'd have gone with Emma. Emma? D don't know an Emma. Emma. Nope. Yeah, you do. The one you shagged at Christmas. Sorry. He's mixed up. At Christmas? Before you. But we've been going out since September the 3rd. <laughs> Les? The gun. What? Don't give it to her. Don't give it to her. The gun! Please, now! Don't give it to her! Took the bullets out, you lying piece of shit. You bastard. I'm sorry. That is it between us. We are finished. You had no right to do that. No right to take them out. On my end, uh, I didn't think there were any bullets in there anyway. Uh, also, you held the gun in a slightly camp. Way kill you. Well, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Impressive. Like a stage combat. You could have put my bloody back out. Tony, hit him. Fuck off. You hit him. 
Come on, babe. Emma meant nothing. I'd be lying if I didn't say she had a fantastic rack. But that's all she is. Just a stunning piece of meat. What do you say we cut and run? I'm starving. Tempting, though that is. I think not. Hey? You haven't shown yourself in the best light this evening, Tony. I mean, you failed to meet even your own low standards tonight. Oh, but Rach... Sorry, Tony, but that's it. It's over. Finished. Well, that's not fair. It's just not fair. Bloody hell. Women. I mean, all right, I know a few things I've promised have taken a while to materialize. A house, a job. But it's been difficult, you know? Les undermines me all the time. I do not. Yes, you do. I do not. Oh, you do. I mean, to be fair, like, Tony is useless, it's true. But you do go on about it, Les. I see. So it's my fault. You've hurt him now. Yeah, I am hurt. Not just because of personal comments. I have carried you, Tony, ever since we got out of prison. You and her decide that it's my fault, or well, fine. If that's the way it is, I, sh I, I, I won't be contradicting you. I'll be off it. No, Leslie. No, I shall be moving on to where the law can't find me. Are you going to your mum's? Possibly. Don't go. Tony. Keep out of it. Just go with him. But... I love you. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. Not really, come on. Whereas you and him, you're practically a couple. No, we are not. We finish each other's sentences. No, we don't. That's, That's a, a ridiculous thing to say. Look, just go. With joy in your hearts and my best wishes. But seriously, fuck off. That is cold. I warned you she was cold. What about? I can make my own way up. Look, I'll sort it. You two, just get out of there before I put the bullets back in the gun. Keep it. I hate the bloody things anyway. Come on. Have you got any money? Why? I'm hungry. Thought we might get some chicken on the way up. Mm. Oh. Well, that's another failure. Twenty three, I am. Twenty three years of failure. Try being a student, shit at it. Try being a carer, shit at it. Try being a kidnapper. Best of the bunch you were. <laughs> You're just being nice. Scariest. Only one with an eye for detail. <laughs> Look, just go. But please don't tell the police. Tell them what? Someone tried to kidnap the dickhead upstairs. How much were you going to ask for, anyway? 500,000. How much was your cut? 20 grand. I'd have done it for free, I reckon. Take the gun. What? Threaten me. I want to see what you look like. Uh, say... Um, get in the car. How was it? <laughs> Not bad. Impressive. Convincing. Your point being? Look, this might sound crazy, but ten minutes away, there's an asshole millionaire just waiting to be kidnapped. And you've got it all set up. Got the cards. Made the masks. Guns. Gaffer tape. Camera. Camera. 
Well, it's only because of those two you got the wrong guy, right? Right. Supposing you got the right guy. Well, that would be a different story altogether. <laughs>